Jets running back Zach Stacey with Armin and LeVac on 104.5 The Team, your home for New York sports. Zach, we've been talking so much about Chris Ivory and how good he's been this year. In mm-hmm. your words, man, what have you seen in this guy? Man, it's, it's crazy, man. It's, it's, it's almost scientifically impossible, uh, the things <laughs> he's doing. I mean, the guy is six foot, 230 pounds, and probably the fastest back in the room. Um, with that being said, he, he's just been productive and, you know, doing it on a consistent basis. Uh, week in and week out. So, um, you know, right now he's just, uh, you know, he just one of those guys that, you know, first one in the room, last one to leave, always, you know, trying to always ask some questions, always, uh, you know, on top of things in terms of, you know, staying mentally prepared, physically prepared. You know, he's just the ultimate pro. So, but yeah, he's playing balls out right now. Zach, this is your first year with the Jets. Have you noticed like a different vibe around there this week as you lead up to the Patriots matchup? Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, obviously, you know, like you said, this is my first, uh, you know, year with the Jets. And obviously, uh, you know, the Patriots are pretty much a rival for these guys. And, you know, it's, uh, we're, we're treating it just like any other game. It's just, you know, we sit and, you know, we just so happen to play the Patriots. So obviously, we know what they're all about. You know, all the accolades of defending Super Bowl champs. Uh, you know, obviously, with one of the, you know, best quarterbacks in football with Tom Brady. So, uh, it's definitely going to be a challenge, but we're up for it. You know, we're up for it. We got a great week of practice, and it's all about uh, you going to go all about execution in this game. Zach Stacy, uh, running back for the Jets, drafted in 2013 by the Rams, was there two years, and now in New York. All about execution against the Patriots. What is the? What do you see in the Patriots defense? How do you attack the Patriots defense? You know, they're pretty much a. Uh, you know, being on break defense, you know, they just play fundamentally sound. You know what I'm saying? They, uh, they want you to make mistakes. Uh, you know, obviously they have a, you know, pretty active guys, uh, up front, uh, with, uh, Collins and, uh, you know, their secondary are pretty active as well. So, um, you know, uh, it, it, you know, they're, they're, like I said, they're fundamentally sound. They just play, uh, sound football. So, uh, when you're playing a team like this, it's just going to come down to, you know, eliminate the mental errors, uh, trying to stay on top of not turning the ball over and, you know, just going out and execute, you know, I think it's, uh, it's going to be a good matchup. Zach, as we, as we look at the, uh, the backfield, you guys are pretty stacked there with Ivory and Powell. Uh, what kind of shape is Powell on this week? Are you going to be getting a lot of those third down snaps? Um, uh, you know, for the most part, you know, I, I, I was, got some, a lot of reps in uh, practice this week. So I'm just prepared, you know, just, uh, for, for the growth my world is, you know, uh, I prepare myself. Obviously, we you know, Chris, you know, Chris Ivey, he's our guy. You know, obviously he's the boy for us. Uh, but at the end of the day, my mentality is just come and prepare myself like I'm the star, you know, each and week in and week out. So whatever my role is, I'm prepared. I'm uh, mentally prepared for it. So I uh, just want to uh, stay consistent with all that. Jets running back Zach Stacey with Armin and LeVac. All right, you guys were losing 13-10 to 10 last week at halftime. Todd Bowles goes in the locker room. Zach, what happened in that locker room at halftime last week? Uh, you know, really, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't no panic on us. You know, we know that we're going to face adversity, you know, uh, throughout ball games, throughout the rest of the season. So, you know, it really wasn't no panic, but, you know, we just were able to adjust, calm down, and, uh, well, just make plays. You know, I think with this team, with this offense, you know, it's all about making plays. Zach, Zach it, it's just us, man. Don't don't be don't be nervous. Todd Bowles always quiet, under control, emotionally <laughs> in public. Does he walk into that locker room once in a while and just blow up? <laughs> not really. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm being real with you guys. Like he's just—he's the guy that you know. He's the ultimate coach. Like he—he he knows when there's a the time to play, but at the end of the day, when it's time to get uh, work done, you know, he's—he's he, he's up up us a little bit. But you know, at the end of the day, he's just like any other coach. Just uh, steady, try to motivate made us and uh, makes us look at the big realistic picture in terms of you know how good we can be. Zach Stacey, Jets running back with Armin and LeVac, 104.5, the team. Zach, a lot of people looked at Ryan Fitzpatrick and said, oh, he's done. He's been on a bunch of teams. He's washed up. He's a backup. How are you guys 4-1 and one with Ryan Fitzpatrick? Because Fitz knows his offense, man. Like, he's uh, he's able to make adjustments uh, anytime he wants because he has a feel for the offense. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, uh, you know Fitz is not a guy that's not going to you know, go out and throw for 400 yards a game. You know, he's a guy that's going to manage the game, put us in the right in the right spot to make plays, put us in the right position to be successful. And that he's done a great job of it.
Zach, I've, I've been a fan of yours since Vanderbilt, and I thought for sure you were going to run away, literally and figuratively, with the Rams starting job. Is it a blessing that the that you've been able to get out of there and come to New York, a, a more of a ground and pound team? Oh, absolutely. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you can't forget that this is a business. You know what I'm saying? And I think uh, just as far as my career, I think this was the right move. So, uh, obviously, the, with this offense, you know, when I first got traded, learning about Coach Yale's offense, you know, I started licking my chops. This is right up my alley. So, I'm definitely a blessed with the opportunity to just, you know, be on the field. You know, uh, a year ago last year, you know, I wasn't even touching, touching the field, not even on special teams. So, uh, with that being said, it's just good to be able to help contribute to this team and help this team be successful on Sunday. Jets running back Zach Stacy, his Twitter account at Z Stacy underscore. Interesting use of the underscore at the end. Oh, absolutely! Oh, absolutely! <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, it's one. Yeah, it's one of those deals where I would, you know, say just underscore. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, was at Z Stacy already taken, so you had to put the underscore at the end of it. I'm not sure. I think that's what it was. I think I think that's what it was. I had to I had to use one of those special characters or something like that. Yeah, uh, it was back. In, it was back in college, I think. So uh, I pretty much I kind of stuck with the same name. I dig it, man, dude. Thanks so much for your time today. A five and zero Patriots in New England this weekend. No big deal, right? Uh, ha- have a good time. Enjoy the game. Kick some butt, and hopefully we can talk to you again soon, man. Oh, absolutely. Thank you guys for having me.